You guys want to learn how to turn this into this? Hold on, let's get back to this first. In my past life, before I had a wife and kids, and before we started flipping houses, I had my own painting business. I started working for a painter when I was about 16 and eventually I started my own business. One of the easiest jobs that people would hire me for was whitewashing their brick. In reality, this project is the perfect DIY job for anyone. Before you pay a contractor hundreds or thousands of dollars, watch this video. Wait, before you do all that, hit that like button and subscribe down below before you forget because our goal with this channel is to help empower you guys to do these projects for yourself and save money along the way. All right, now that you've done all that, keep watching and let us help you transform this industrial looking brick into a modern focal point of your house. Whether it was their fireplace or their backsplash or the exterior of their house, I would welcome a whitewashing job with open arms. Depending on the size of the job, it was an easy, mindless, quick way to make thousands of dollars. It really can transform your space, but depending on the age of your brick, this process can actually prolong the life and keep it from crumbling and chipping under the elements. Here at the Live and Flip, we're trying to accomplish both of these. This brick is 53 years old and the look is a bit dated, but the brick is also so soft and it's becoming uh, a little brittle. I had to be very careful when I was pressure washing because I really don't want to replace any of this brick. That is a big, big ticket item when you have to go and start replacing 53 year old brick. All right, let's get into the reason why you clicked on this video. You wanna whitewash your brick, right? We're gonna be using a very simple mix of white paint and water. The cost of this whole project is gonna be less than 50 bucks. Before I get into that, let's start at the beginning. Step one, the prep. We already pressure washed this area, but that's just the start. This can be a very messy project, so if you want the cleanup to be easy, cover everything. It'll get all over your hands. It'll get all over your face. Lauren told me I just got some on my face. I told you it was messy. It'll get all over your siding, your shutters. If you have any lantern flies, it'll probably get on them as well. Because we'll be watering down the paint, the consistency is gonna be more like water than paint. This is going to help the whitewash soak into the brick and give that desired look that you guys are wanting. We can change the transparency by adding a little more water or less, depending on what you're going for. On this house, we wanted to see the variations in color, so we're gonna go with a 50-50 mix. If it's too transparent, we can add another coat or we can just change the ratio to one part water, two parts paint, but I think the second coat should give us that look that we're, that we're going for. Once the mixture is finished, we're going to use a one gallon pump sprayer that you can purchase at any hardware store for about 10 to $15. Find a pattern of spray that best works for you and start laying it on. It's better to start light at first until you get into a groove. The last thing you wanna do is start putting it on too heavy and having to spend the rest of your day cleaning up drips. We're doing one small section at a time here so we can go back over the area with a brush and, and get it in all the little cracks and, and crevices. It really is that simple. All we used was a gallon of bare stain blocking paint I recommend you go with a flat enamel because if you use a satin or a semi-gloss, you're most likely gonna get clogs in your sprayer. I would also recommend using an old paintbrush or buying one from the dollar store. There's no need to go buy a new expensive brush. 
the roughness of the brick is going to do a number on it. So you're most likely going to throw it out when you're done. It doesn't matter if you're 70 years old or you're trying to find a weekend project to do with your kid. There is little to no skill involved with this. Whitewashing your brick is easy. If you don't like the look of your old brick, the risk reward here is a no brainer. So what do I love about whitewash? Money and time, the two big factors. It's super cheap. You can use the existing paint in your garage or if you wanna spend a, a couple bucks, you can just go to the store and buy a fresh one and a pump sprayer. That's all you need. This is a project that can be done in an afternoon. Depending on how big your space is, this whole area only took us two hours. Would have taken us less time, but we had a little bit of a clog in the sprayer, so that's something to think about too. In my opinion, the only downfalls to whitewashing, when you mix the paint and water, like I said, the clogs, sometimes the paint has a tendency to sink to the bottom, so you have to keep constantly mixing it or shaking the, the pump sprayer around a little bit. It can be difficult to get that right coverage. You might have to apply a second coat or several coats or just change the consistency. So play around with it a little bit. It's permanent, so once you start, there's no turning back. If you want something temporary, you might wanna go with a lime wash, but that's gonna cost you more money and maybe not near as durable. We have so many more projects going on here. I'd love to share them all with you guys. So if you're not a subscriber already, please hit that subscribe button below. I got a walkway here that I'm working on. I also got a, um, a giant concrete bag wall that I've been working on. I can't wait to show you guys that. I'll give you a little, a little uh, sample of what that's looking like. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.